Yeah, look, but you know, I was having to debate myself that I hate street edge people. And when I mean, I hate street edge, like, they have nothing going on. Some of the good people, some out front, I appreciate the honesty. But outside of that, it's like, what do we have in common? You know, I made this, I guess, audio broadcast just to get the top of my system. That, for example, I vape, smoke weed. You know, drinks of alcohol and all that. I'm also a coffee drinker, tea drinker. You know, you gotta have some, like, somebody you can relate to. They ain't always straight edge all the time. Me and my lady was just talking about that. I said, babe, you gotta calm it. You know, she's been busy stuff for school. She lived in the suburbs. I understand where she's coming from, why she had to be this way. But for others, it's like, they have a version, have no personality or nothing going on. Or in this case, I hate small talk. I hate I absolutely dread, hate small talk for the rest of my entire life, for the rest of my life. So I can't, I can't deal with like simple conversations. That is too whack and too boring for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I like philosophical topics. I like some deep topics. And sad to say, I live in America. Let's just be keep it obvious here. Americans don't value intellectualism, anything, or something that's deep or meaningful. And that's hurtful as an artist too. You know, being a recording artist, you gotta ask, you know, you gotta relate to the audience on multiple different fronts and multiple different personalities, occasions. You know what I'm saying? You can't be straight edge in the business. You know what I'm saying? Let's be honest. You can't be straight sober. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the business of different personalities like yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I, I don't advocate. You know, doing drugs and anything. I don't advocate drinking anything, but that's why I grew up around. I grew up with, you know, people that were chain smokers and alcoholics and stuff, so that's where I grew up. Airplane. I woke up thirsty as hell. <laughs> that's what happened when you do some, um, get, get that Mary Jane, that TAC and Delta 8, Delta 9. It's becoming a problem because it affects my overall perception and sensory of things, you know what I'm saying? It affects my perception socially, you know what I'm saying? I, I hate small talk. I don't, I hate all forms of small talk. Like, oh, hi. How's your day? How you doing? Just sound like Android, sound robotic, sound fake. Part of my, this time I'm on a conservative now, unfortunately. YouTube is very strict nowadays. Yeah. Like, born. Just straight born. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm not trying to nag or disrespect people who, who who are straight edge. But my thoughts on straight edge people are whack as hell to me. Just being real. Not being disrespectful. Not trying to come off no funny business. I'm just saying the obvious. I mean, you you got to be relatable. You know what I'm saying? And this is a problem being a recording artist too. Being a songwriter. You got to have some type of lore. Some backstory. Kind of like, you know what I'm saying? I'm used to tragedies, you know, so that's why I literally came up on tragedies. Not, not intentionally sound like, you know, intentionally s sad stories, sob stories, not being funny or anything, but that's why I'm, it's kind of ironic. I'm, I'm so used to the dark side thing, but it's like talking to people that don't do like alcohol or marijuana or something or some type of pain. Oh, my name is Billy Bob. I go to work. I pay my bills. I take care of my taxes. And blah, 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 blah. Get the hell out of here with this. Get the hell out of here with that bullshit, man. Seriously. You're not going to gain an audience that way, man. You know what I'm saying? Despite my flaws and all, I'd rather have that than be straight edge. You know what I'm saying? I remember someone told me, you only talk to me when you're drunk and high. I said, I'm gonna say it in the video, so I'm gonna say it all throughout social media. I can't do straight sober. I can't be sober at times because it makes me irritate. It makes me ash how, you know what I'm saying? It makes me piss. Like, how, how do people live and breathe average? You know what I'm saying? Basically, what I'm saying, I don't like average people. In, in this bit, in the music business or any kind of, what business I'm from, being sober ain't gonna get you no friends, gonna get you nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Let's just be obvious. You're not gonna make a lot of allies that way either. You know what I'm saying? You got even both heroes to villains. You know, have to have something that you can relate to. Like I guess you say, Batman the Joker. 
you know, like Goku versus Frieza. I would say yeah, more like Vegeta versus Frieza or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a backstory, man. I can't do, oh, let's say, for example, I do drink coffee. I'm a coffee drinker. You know, that I had to blame on my mother, though. Make sure rest in peace. But I didn't realize how addicted I am to coffee. Everybody's addicted to the sun. If you're not addicted, stay away from it. What happens if you got addicted personnel? You know what I'm saying? It was just kind of funny myself. Like, I can't, there's a reason I cannot be sober or straight edge. Only time I do that because I had to go to work and all. That's the only time I meet that, you know, be sober and all when I go to work. Oh, uh, no, I, I like, I don't like being bored. I don't like to bore people and I don't like being boring. So it goes hand in hand. It's like, I make videos for a reason. I don't want to be bored. You don't want to be boring. You know, so you don't want to be bored either. The audience don't want to be bored. I don't want to be bored either. So we, we understand each other. But you try to talk to straight edge people. I understand we need a, ba- we need a balance and we need a counterbalance and stuff like this. But it's like, I talked to a couple of, you know, great new producers and they've been up front with me at the honest. But it's like the personalities, it just don't mesh. It just don't click. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I guess I'm used to so called good or bad, like people that drink, people that smoke. You know what I'm saying? People ask, why do you become a musician? You know, it's a real pain being a musician, being an artist, it, it's a songwriter. It's, you know, so I like that. If we, you know, and I'm not trying to be funny, but they're great gentlemen and made it be successful. It's like, and it's hard, for, it's hard to find producers that you can really click and bond and mess with, with, you know what I'm saying? And that's a problem in the music business too, or even, any kind of music level is like you gotta you gotta find people that you can really understand, click and bond. But that's the problem in America. Americans just don't click and bond. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you basically start from from Browns Deer all over again, over over. It just get tired of meeting new people, dealing with new people, and don't mesh, don't click. I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to be a jackass or anything. I'm just I don't like straight edge people. Like, and I don't like, I had to carry the whole conversation either, you know, saying straight sober. I, I can't be straight sober for too long, you know what I'm saying? It gets boring. Especially, I do live alone. It doesn't get depressing. But it's like, what choice do I got? Do I conform or do I not conform? I don't like androids, you know what I'm saying? I don't like robots. Oh, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. You know, I, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't smoke. I don't drink. You know what I'm like, uh, dude? Chick, you're bored as hell. That's a, and that's hard for me to relate to people, and that's the reason I ain't make songs too. Besides issue with producers and stuff, it's like relatability. You gotta have somebody you relate to. I can't relate to straight edge sober people. Now, to a degree, hey, if, you, if you're doing that for whatever health reasons, mental health reasons, whatever, don't let my words do I get help. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm used to. You know what I'm saying? And I can't relate to androids. I can't relate to this vanilla people. I can't relate to this ordinary average people. I'd rather die before I be average. I'd rather die than be an android. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hi, my name is, uh, Tamaka. No, I go to school and I don't do drugs. And you sound like a born, um, what is that? Advertisement. Nobody don't care. You know what I'm saying? I want to ask you young kids, what got you into vaping? What got you into smoking? I don't, I don't advocate drugs and if I'm just stating obvious. Kids will be kids. Kids will get into something. And either by influences, you know, either by good or bad influences. You know what I'm saying? We all know, you know what I'm saying? I believe drugs should be legalized to their own consent. You know, that's just me. But I hate straight edge people. I have no respect for straight edge people. Born villa, vanilla personalities. I don't like straight edge androids. Nah, nah. Oh, PA. That's, that's what I say. Sound like a P, sound like a PSA announcement. No, I, I just hate those kind of things. But what can you say and do, yo? You know, I just hate straight edge people, man. Just, I hate androids. I hate born people. Uh, same way, I like, like, it's like, how you, how you a coffee drinker, you drink decaf. Get out of here. You can't be talking about your coffee drink on your drinking decaf and all that. Or same way, you don't drink, you just drink straight black. 
Where's the flavor? Where's the color in life, man? I'm out.